Hey everybody, what's up? This is Adrian Ortiz with AMO Fitness. So today we're going to go over one of my favorites, a squat jump that leads right into a split jump. So when we get to these type of plyometric exercises, you should have already established a foundation of eccentric control, concentric abilities, the ability to contract the muscle, so you, you know, to make sure that your mobility and flexibility is on point, and that you can quickly move between the two, which is our amortization phase. So when we're going through this stuff, please slow down and work on your joint stability if you have to. At this level of the program, after doing your depth drops and your eccentric squats, you should be prepared to be able to handle the quick force coupling that occurs between the movements. So let's get into it. All right, so our squat jump. We wanna load our squat jump as we normally are coached, knees spread, chest up. So I'm gonna squat jump, okay? I'm gonna squat jump, and then we're gonna go split jump, split jump, squat jump. Okay, so a lot just occurred there. If you guys watched super slow-mo, my shin angle stayed in, it didn't drop in, my chest didn't collapse, and I didn't lean over, okay? Losing my thoracic spine up here. This stuff stays the same. I have really good spine organization. And that's only because I've done this a million times and I coach it a lot. So again, we wanna load up to get that little bit of a hamstring pull. We're gonna get back in, right, left, up. And each time I'm doing this, I'm trying to create as much force as possible, especially in the vertical jump. That's why we do plyometric exercises, to develop as much force as we possibly can given and athletic movement or capacity. So that is our squat jump plus split jump. If you cannot do it, slow it down, especially on the eccentrics of landing and preparing the jump. So when we're going down, slow this down. Okay, come up, hold, good three seconds. And if you want, practice holding a good split, holding a good split, when I say hold, there's stillness. The greatest athletes are able to move very rapidly and elastically and then able to stop themselves in what we call almost a relaxed stiffness. Okay, so if you have trouble with that, just go here. Practice hold, hold, and then we're done. So that's Adrian Ortiz, a little bit of tidbit on some plyometric activity and a squat-split-jump combination.